A house divided cannot stand. I am 14 when the preacher tells me this, and I wonder what it means that I have already lived my entire life divided, between parents, between homes, between the love I have needed and the abuse I have accepted, the ways I have kept either quiet or safe, between the reality I have lived in and the fantasies I have survived in divided so often even I no longer know the difference anymore. God, have mercy on my soul. A house divided cannot stand and I am 15 when the ground gives way beneath me. Sometimes betrayal is not found in a kiss upon a cheek, instead a closed fist. I build a new house, the same as those around me, but soon understand it does not matter if the frames are metal or the walls concrete or if the ticking inside is a clock or a heart or a bomb. It matters only that we are seen to be standing even when we are anything but whole. I think now of those houses, the way our bodies can become harder still yet still not be strong enough to hold the ceiling in place, how our hands continue to shake even after the collapsing is over how sometimes the splinters we sweep under the rug are not shattered glass but our own shattered bones and the boy climbs inside my body and wants to make a home of me and he is not made of barbs or teeth or fists but I tell him I have never known how to be a solid thing that I have only ever been foundations laid upon fault lines that I do not understand love to be anything more than the leveling and the rebuilding even now I am still looking for ways to break and a house divided cannot stand and I am trying to land upright but every promise is a loaded gun and every door an exit Wound, and I am always one muscle memory away from leaving, yet keep being found pressed against the wall with my legs around his waist. God have mercy on my soul. A house divided cannot stand, can no longer stand, can't stand. How can I withstand these winds that rip my spine down the middle of the woman I want him to love and the one I am afraid he never could if he understood the wreckage that is me? And I don't understand what it means that I cannot exist without turning myself into a metaphor. But maybe all of this is simply to say that sometimes... Being torn in half will always feel more like home than two arms ever could.